Hi, this is the songbird, Reborn and Rebuilt. This is about, this is going to be a good witch story. Since the day I was born with the veil on my face, and as far back as I can remember, I've always had dreams and premonitions. Before I could actually talk really good, I could, I could, um, I would have, um, little intuitions and, uh, uh, showing me which way to go, what to do, whatever. I call it God. But anyhow, I'm only saying that because I don't wish to do any bad to anyone. So at age five, I had a dream. I had a dream that me and my mom were trapped, semi-trapped, under a small leg of the chair. <laughs> Believe it or not, the thumb was trapped under the chair. For some reason, we couldn't pick that chair up that off of that one body part. My mom was smiling, teeth and all, beautiful smile. Me, I was uh, distressed trying to get that chair off her thumb. But at the same time, I could feel this funny feeling inside of me in my bones. Like when you bump your elbow on the side of the, you know, something hard, like the the doorway or something really hard, the table, that feeling that you have in your elbow, I felt all over my body and my bones. And I felt in the dream that my mom had the same feeling in her bones, but she was smiling and I was fretting. So fast forward from age five, I got up and I told her about the dream. It was very disturbing. I had that dream several times you know I was five so I can't tell you the calendar dates of how long it went on but it was very distressful when I woke up I could feel it that feeling that funny feeling like when you bump your elbow or your knee mostly the elbow thing um so at, when my mom was 40 she was in her 40s I'm not exactly sure exactly the exact 40 age but she had you know and she came to visit me and my kids up in Westfield where I was living this is years later I forgot about the dream and to my mom when we went to see my daughter in a uh, with the school choir and she was walking funny um, like she was in the dream where she was trapped but the when I saw the way she was walking, it brought me the flashback of the dream from when I was five. And when I saw the way she was walking, it gave me that weird feeling all over my body, my physical body, like when you bump your elbow. And also, I had already been experiencing pain in my bones since I was 21, and I had went to the hospital it was like maybe three years before she came up there. And I went to the hospital and I thought my arm was broken because I couldn't do anything with it. And they told me, you know, that it was bursitis or whatever. They couldn't really put a real finger on it, but they figured it was bursitis because it was burning too. It burns inside the bones too at a certain point, the feeling funny part and then if it goes on too long, it starts to burn like there's fire in your bones, in my bones. So, fast forward back, maybe, I mean forward, maybe two, three years, my mom comes and she's walking like that. And we both have, and I, when she, I get close to her and I ask her, what's wrong with your legs? And she tells me about her hips, um, the bones in her hips. And... And I said, wow, that's what I dreamt about. And um, she was trapped under the chair at one point in the dream, but at another point in the dream, she did, she was walking funny. Okay, so just, just a glimpse of it, not like a long, drawn-out thing. Just a very quick glimpse of her walking funny and feeling the pain but smiling. 
and I told her, I said, remember that dream I had? Oh, my God. And I, I was surprised, not, I don't know the word cause to say, because I wasn't surprised that the dream came true. But I was and I wasn't, because I was always having dreams that come true at least every month <laughs> my whole life. But for some reason, every time it happens, it surprises me. Uh, yeah, that's the right word. And and I told her, and I, rem- I said, you remember when I was little and I, and I t- kept telling you about that dream? And, and then her eyes, you could see it in her eyes that she remembered. And I said, wow, it came true. I mean, she wasn't real surprised, but like me, always surprised. Because growing up, I always had a story jump up sweating from sleep and tell her something and it would happen and um, she remembered and so fast forward some more now it's been over 20 years and I was speaking to her last week uh, she had an operation a month ago and I told her you know Wow, 